Welcome again to Tina's Talk Time. <laughs> I'm so pleased, I can't believe it. I'm so excited because I've got 500 subscribers. Thank you so, so much, all you lovely people that have subscribed. Um, I'm really thrilled about it, I really am. Anyway, um, I know it's not long since I was on, but there's a few things that I forgot to say on my last video. I should really make notes or plan it properly. <laughs> I've given you a new position, I don't know whether you can notice that. And I'm having my first, in my lovely mug, my first gingerbread latte of the season. Mm. And that is thanks to some lovely viewers who told me where to buy my gingerbread syrup from. Um, so I, I mentioned in one of my videos that I love gingerbread lattes but I haven't been able to get hold of the gingerbread syrup this year well apparently Amazon sell it and some lovely viewers told me about that which I'm really pleased immediately ordered it and now I'm having my first one I love it I really do and um, there was a few things in my last shopping haul that I forgot to tell you about um, it's ridiculous really but anyway I'll get on with them <laughs> First of all, with the Aldi dupes, um, and keep an eye out for Aldi because they've got, I mean, they should have been available to order online on Sunday, um, but I think with all the delivery problems, um, they, they haven't got them in. But they said, watch this space, so they will be coming in, and that's a lot of new beauty dupes. Um, there was quite a few, and I was going to order them, but obviously I couldn't, but I will keep an eye out, and if I see them, either coming in store or online, I'll tell you and I'll find, try and find out what the dupes are. I know I shall be ordering them because I love their beauty dupes. I, I mean, I just love Aldi really. <laughs> but one of the dupes I've got from Aldi is, um, it's a hand wash and I think it's about, it's only about £1.20 this and it, it's a good size. They do do a smaller size, but this one's 500 mils and it, it's a dupe of the molten brown one. You'll notice the bottle looks practically the same. And I, I haven't tried this um, fragrance, but I've tried um, one of the other fragrances and it's really, really nice. The smaller one, I think it's about 89p. So it's not a lot for you to try it. You know, it's really, really nice. So I really would recommend that. And another one is a dupe of the White Company. This is a white coming one. Now this is dearer, this is $1.99. And I haven't tried this yet, um, but I will just, oh, it does smell very nice. I know my daughter's got some white company hand wash and I always love using it and the hand cream. So hopefully this one will be as good. So I'll let you know about that. And just a couple of uh, things that I, di I did get uh, previously, I said I'd let you know how I've gone on with. Um, I don't know whether you remember, do you remember me getting the cleaning brush from Aldi? It was eight ninety nine with the pink stuff. Um, that is brilliant, absolutely brilliant for doing round your taps, you know, any little nooks and crevices that you can't get. Not that I'm a brilliant cleaner, but I do like the brush. The only problem is, I had it in the bathroom on the smallest brush, and it's pink and white. Well, my electric toothbrush is pink and white. And I very nearly picked that brush up instead of my electric toothbrush. So it's a good job I hadn't cleaned around the toilets with it. I didn't use it though. I realised as soon as I picked it up. Now one of the other things I got when I went to Primark, which I forgot to tell you, but I thought would make a great Christmas gift. It's a little candle in like one of these glass domes. And it's called Retreat. Um, blush jasmine and it contains essential oils and it's a soya wax blend which i think is re a really good candle isn't it i think it had been about six pound originally but there were three pounds and i thought what a lovely christmas gift that is you know really really nice and then a couple of things i got from b&m's that i forgot to tell you about was this this first isn't that gorgeous now this, it's called Winter Woods, it's a hedgehog and owl tower, and it's four pounds. It was with the Christmas things, but because he's got a little acorn, well, they've both got acorns, aren't they cute? I thought that you could put that out for autumn. It's beautiful, isn't it, for four pounds. I need it like a hole in the head, but there you are. And then the final thing that I got, that I forgot to tell you about, was this. Who's Zoflora mad? I suppose everybody is. 
we like being brainwashed, aren't we, into buying everything Zaflora and Fabulosa. But in fact, I've used Zaflora since my children were little, but you didn't get as many as you just used to be one that was like a floral fragrance and that was it. Now this is Frosted Peppermint. It does say a little goes a long way. Oh, golly. I was going to try and, well, I can't open it. Oh, I've done it. It's not too strong. It does smell nice. Maybe a bit like mouthwash, but it probably smells lovely in the kitchen. I'll let you know how I go on with it. Right, so that's those things. And then another thing that I bought that is absolutely brilliant. Now, I don't know about you, but I love my iPad. I, to be truthful, I watch my iPad a lot more than watch TV. Um, YouTube videos, films, anything really, shopping, anything. <laughs> anyway, um, lately I, I've had a bad shoulder and neck um, and using my iPad seems to make it really worse. Um, but I, I bought this from AliExpress and it's absolutely amazing. There's a little pocket on the side that you can put your phone in, not that I have done, but your iPad just let me show you. Your iPad just sits on it. Oh, wait a minute. Your iPad just sits on it, on your bed and everything. It, it's amazing. It really is, I really love it. And I think it was about six pound 50. Didn't take too long to come. Um, I mean, you can even have it on your knee with it. it it's really good. Um, so I do think it's a really useful thing if you use your iPad and you probably saw on there um, Emma's Lifestyle well Emma uh, Emma's Lifestyle is one of the YouTubers that I'm going to recommend she's a lovely lady and she does lots and lots of shopping hauls so it's really really worthwhile watching her um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it and I think us YouTubers need to support one another us YouTubers I'm a YouTuber now <laughs> But um, I think really, you know, we ought to recommend one another. I think it's a good thing, particularly for the small channels. But another, I know I've told you I'd recommend a few. Well, another one that I would like to recommend is, is and I think you'll find this really entertaining, completely different, not shopping hauls or anything like that. It's a, a couple, it, it's mainly the lady, but it's a couple in their eighties and they live in South California somewhere and it's called Nanny and Moose. Now, I love that channel. They live, um, they're both in their 80s. I mean, Moose has been, um, he's not been very well, so he's been in a bit of a care home for a while, but he's coming back now soon, I think. And Nanny, oh, she's lovely. She's, um, she loves her makeup. She's very glamorous, um, loves Halloween, d decorates, for everything and she's and they live they've got 30 grandchildren and they live in california and i think it's um a little cottage or something she didn't say what the house was called but it's something i've never heard of they live in a little cottage um in the grounds i think of a granddaughter's uh, or a grandchild's california property and they love it they love being there near all the grandchildren lovely lovely couple really entertaining and they're both in their 80s so that's really a good one to watch nanny and moose um a couple of other things i wanted to say well first of all i'm having a moan has anybody has anybody got um, a sharp um upright cleaner now um i've got the cordless one now my first sharp was a plug-in and i loved it it was brilliant so i moved on to get the cordless one you know the one that bends um which i love when it's working properly but it's forever jamming i don't know whether i'm doing something wrong um it drives me mad there isn't a week goes by that i don't have to unblock it and and i'm always cleaning it so i don't know what it is but has anybody else got the same problem and can anybody else recommend a better um upright vacuum uh, well not a cordless vacuum cleaner because it's driving me potty i've just tried to hoover now and yet again it's jammed again and then that you see the little hand thing gets hot and then um it won't start again which is good because obviously it's a cut off thing um but um 
you've then got to unjam it it jams all the time whether it's because it has that bend in the middle you know where you can close it because it's great that it's a great design absolutely brilliant design but it drives me mad so has anybody else got one or anybody got any recommendations to get a better one <laughs> anyway um i'm going out for lunch today i, I know i keep saying i don't go out much but <laughs> i do go out in the day sometimes um one of the lovely ladies from the bowling club is having like a little afternoon tea and so uh, we're all going round. That's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. And then next week, I shall be out then because it's my birthday week. I'll actually be the 72-year-old. I'm nearly 72 now. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going out with my family um, and we're going for a lovely meal, you know, at an, a really nice place. And it's really nice because uh, my daughter-in-law-to-be, her in-laws are coming over. So we'll all go out together. So it'll be really nice because we've only met them once before, you know, so that'll be nice. So I'm quite looking forward to next week. But this weekend, I have decided that I'm going to spend a day on YouTube trying to find out how you edit, firstly, and then trying to find out how you put links in properly. And then maybe I can, I can actually style some of, if I buy any more outfits you know but you know what I mean I can show you what they look like because it's a, it's not really good when you just have a look at them is it you know so anyway this has been a very short video of the things that I've forgotten before so <laughs> I'm gonna go now because I need I need to get myself sorted for going out for lunch so bye for now see you soon and this is Tina from Tina's Talk Time Okay, bye.